Right, welcome everybody to my first big feeding video of the year. It's only um, a 1st of Jan, 2nd of Jan. Oops, no it's not. It's um, well into uh, March. Anyway, we made it. <laughs> We've survived the first horrible weeks of... Um, yeah, so um, we, I won't go into details too much. I mean, I kind of said in a previous vid I had some issues and stuff and that's all in the past, onwards and upwards. But um, yeah, it's been trying times for everyone, so uh, um, especially for people in a certain country. Okay, so this is one of my little lagunuses in here. And we've got loads of crickets, so we're going to start off by feeding the little ones. Sorry about this. Um, is that in focus? Start off by feeding the little ones. And then we're going to go on to the bigger ones. And I'm not going to be able to film all, film all, of, them, all of them because I'm still waiting on quite a few um, to mold. Oh, it's cricket catching time. I realised why I loved crickets so much. Not, and I've put them in the worst possible container. Oh, crap. I don't know why I've put them in this container. I'm going to have to get them out of this container. Because it's going to take me ages. Hang on, I've got one. To do. Oh. Oh dear, that didn't work, did it? No. Oh, now you're stuck in the water dish. Oh, I hate crickets. At the moment, I'm not very keen on my lagunas because he's not eating. Come on, sweetie. Oh, there you go. Oh, you silly sausage. Anyway, one down. And, uh, oh God, you would, wouldn't believe the silly, oh, crap. <laughs> oh, no, that wasn't very good. I've lost my pipette. I need to get a new one. Anyway, on to the next. Right, on to Lagunas number two. Uh, these will all be for sale um, this year, so if you're interested in one, let me know. I'm going to sex them when I can. Um, oh, no. Oh, crap. All right, got a cricket. Oh, no, we don't. This is why I use this. Oh, crap. Oh, you crap. The problem with the crickets, you kind of squish them and then, oh, sorry, I'm watching on a bit. Um, yeah, you kind of squish them and oh, you nice. But the good thing is they get a good, res you get a good response. Um, and there's method to my madness because uh, I like to. Sorry about my hand, just cleaning out this water dish. I like to give the teas. A varied diet. Um, what I tend to do is give them roaches mostly. Oh, oops! And then every so often I'll mix it up. Sorry, hand. Um, like the odd cricket or um, the odd mealworm or the odd superworm. Anyway, on to the next. Yeah. So as I was saying, mixing it up is is good because different feeders sort of eat at different, well they eat different things, like the crickets will tend to eat anything really, um, and mealworms, but roaches I found can be a bit kind of fussy, um, so I like, yeah, so if you go for your mealworms once in a while you can kind of gut load them a bit and also the crickets you can kind of gut load and make sure your teas are getting a good, 
very diet, but I really do not like cricket. Pain in the bud. Uh, now I think this one's fatty. Anyway, um, let's just plump that cricket in there. Okay, on to the next. Right, this little one is in its water dish, which is not ideal for feeding because it's quite a bit dark in there. Um, yeah, so the last lagoonist didn't eat. So, anyway, we'll try this cricket. I'm going to leave the crickets in this little tub so I can easily access them. Ah. No, what are you doing? Lagoonuses are quite... Wait. They're, they're good, but they can just be a bit kind of slow on the uptake sometimes. Not the best feeding response but um but they're good enough they're kind of I'd say they're medium growth really uh you yeah you'll get a male within an, a year or so um and the females probably yeah two years at least to sort of mature sorry sweetheart oh no no uh, this one's a bit naughty got to get this one back in but they're beautiful tarantulas lovely and um yeah, hopefully go gonna breed my female who's molted. I think I told you in the last video again this year, but we'll see. Fingers crossed on that. Yeah, great species to have in the hobby and um yeah. The more the merrier. On to the next. Right, carrying on with the sort of small section. This is uh, my grandma style of polka who's about five years old, six years old. Uh Fatty Lumpkin. Who is one of my favourite tarantulas. And Oh, got a nice juicy cricket. Oh, you sweetheart. Aren't you beautiful? Yeah, she's she's lovely. But um, that's going to be her last feed, I think, for four weeks. Because um, she's eating well. But I'm feeding her like something like this every two, three weeks. But as you can see, her abdomen's looking quite plumpish anyway. So she's going to have a four-week break and then I'll feed her again. Just keep her watered down. I keep her on the sort of yeah full water dish all the time and then water her down once a week. Um, on to the next. What's the next small one? Uh, yeah I've got one. Right. Uh, this is a rarity. It's a, a von Felmer Chapala who is looking on the plump side um, so I'm not sure if he or she will have a cricket but we'll see oh it's kind of squished that oh missed please don't lose a cricket oh. <laughs> hey so she's or he been eating for quite some time uh, but yeah, a bit like the polkra. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous little... Ooh, what are you doing? Gorgeous. Oh, Pfizer. Oh, where are you going? Gorgeous little tea. I think they're going to grow very big. Do you have to go there? Oh, you sausage. Very slow moving. Oh, well, there he, he did usually slow moving but they have little bursts of speed but generally they sort of creep around like that a fond of Felmers but um yeah a little hide and quite a dry species um but I do the same pretty much with um any tea really just sort of full water dish and then water down once in a while especially when they're plump right on to the next right this is my Femictopus cancerides I'm not having much luck with the crickets at the moment. Ah, we did with this one. Oi. Oh, she got it. Yep, 
good old Cancerides. But yeah, she's got a couple in there. She's doing really well. I'm going to leave her probably for a month, and I'm still trying to find a male. So um, she's um, she's ready for a male. Oh, I've lost that cricket. Damn it! Any more crickets? The light isn't great at the moment, actually. If you can make out her colours, oh, there you go. So she's um, she's stunning. A lovely kind of, definitely very dark, darker actually than she was a bit before. So um, yeah, it's gonna fill her water dish up. And yeah, on to the next. Right, this is my Apophysis, who is molted and is um, it's quite large, doing very well. Definitely should have a couple of crickets. Yep, there's one. Uh, we'll bang in one more. Yay! They're looking quite chubby. Where's that other cricket gone? Ooh. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I'm going to do the water dishes quickly. But this one's beautiful. It's covered in sludge. That one's alright. Got two water dishes in here at the top to keep the moisture up. But I'm feeding this one quite regularly. So, uh, yeah, on to the next. This is another tea I want to breed. Um, getting close to. Uh, maybe next malt. We'll see. Um, uh, what is it? Can't remember. Pamphibetius uh, antinus, is it? Or am I getting it confused with something else? I think it's uh, P. antinus. The lurker. Oh no. The lurker. Bit of a lurker. Don't want to lose this worm. Hmm. I might not be interested. I think she's interested. Whoa. Got it. So she's a cool tea. Um, yeah, great eater. And um, yeah, it's going to be big. So um, let's see if we can feed her boyfriend, who um, hopefully is not going to hook out anytime soon. If he does, I'll just have to sell him and, and wait. But um, yeah, on, let's go on to him. Oh, this is the male uh, Pamphibetius. I'm not sure we're going to get him out because uh, he's hiding. He's dug in below, which is a bit annoying. Oh, I just. <laughs> That's one way to get him out. Is he molted? Oh, can see his bum. I just poured some water down there, so he's probably not too happy. But it's only a bit of water, so um, which they like, Pamphibetuses. They're a bit like Sturmies. You know, give them a good water down every so often. We'll see if we can get his attention with a worm. Sausage. 
Nope. Oh. A little bit of a scaredy cat. There he is. You should get that. Oh, don't you dare. Yay. He's cute. He's very cute. He's got another malt to go. So this will be his last meal for another... Ooh, that'll be it. Four weeks, I reckon. His abdomen's... He's not looking too huge, but... I've been kind of feeding him once a month and like small little roaches so he's he's always hungry um he's not refused anything yet so um yeah a real stunner so yeah let's go on to um the last big one i've got um and that'll be the end of the vid so um yeah he's lovely aren't you i don't really get to see him much Gorgeous, gorgeous. They they will go darker coloration. They're more sort of like a brownie, russet colour at the moment, but um, will go uh, blacker in coloration. So yeah, this is my agent. Um, might be getting ready for a malt. Try one cricket, but the problem is, of course, I lose it. Then I have to ooh dig it up. But no, she's hungry. So she can have three crickets. Ooh. Yum, yum. They haven't had crickets for a while, so. Oh. I missed that one. Where did that one go? Hmm. I want to lose. Did she get that one? Hmm. Missed it. <laughs> oh, no. Oop. <laughs> it's quite fun feeding them, actually. Uh, crickets. God, her fangs are huge. Big, big old agent. Yeah, it's a real shame her egg sac didn't work out. Yeah, she would have had a lot of uh, babies, I reckon. Probably about 2,000, maybe. But uh, we'll try again next year. Um, and then if not, I might sell her. And then, because she takes up quite a large amount of space, so I might go for a different sized, uh, larger tarantula. There's loads out there, so maybe a Pamphobetius sell her and buy a, a pantho, which I do like. Anyway, on to the next. Right, I tried to finish with Boudicca, but um, she wasn't eating and then I lost crickets and it was a bit of a nightmare. Um, this one's a little bit squished. And uh, a rather large Plump. Bless you, Dora. <laughs> She's still eating, so we can finish off on her. Definitely, want to. I want to try and 
definitely one I want to try and breed this year. She just needs to molt. Uh, we'll go for another cricket. Uh, do we want to do one more? Nah. That's probably enough for her. Well, let's do one more, just for good luck. Yep, you missed it, sweetie. Hmm. Nope, she got it. She'll get those. So she's rather... Rather large. She's got a quite a big bum, but she's been um, eating for almost ooh, half a year. So um, that's a good six months, seven months eating. So um, yeah, just I'm gonna leave her for another four weeks now and then, and she should be okay. Right. Um, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, see you soon for some uh, Grammar Stola Polka Praise Polka Pays breeding. Cheers.